Hi everyone, welcome to Stock Market Analysis presented by Ray Financial. Today is March 2nd, 2017. Guys, I just made a big blunder. I had made the video and then there was some other audio that got merged into it and it all just went away. So I have to redo the whole video. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it short now. Uh, basically what I, what I was trying to tell you in my previous video uh, is that you know watch out for these zones all right I have already marked the red and the green this is the same zone I haven't changed it since my last video which was out in February all right it's the same particular area now the reason I am just waiting I have not done anything major nothing uh, no buy trades no sell trades nothing I've just what I'm doing here is I'm just waiting to see that nifty all right, again and again, I'm going to go into this area. Nifty, the the highest high, which is 9,109. All right, it came in the second time, and now it's come the third time. But when it came in the second time, it fell. Uh, you know, then we found support here in this area. Uh, you know, and since then, we have just gone back up, like, really quick. Uh, no, like, without any hesitation. So what are we doing the third time we are back into this red area? All right, what, what, this is what I will, I will say. Just wait for it, all right, just wait. If Nifty breaks 9,109, if it breaks 9,109, then trust me, I feel Nifty can go to like, you know, 10,000, it can, it can like just keep going further up and up and up. All right, sorry for those ridiculous drawings, but um, you know I'm I'm just feel I'm just waiting to see what the market is going to do right now. Now for those who are trading and you know uh, we don't we need like you know some levels that is good for traders. Well, if you are trading, all right, you ju you draw a Fibonacci re retracement from this low all the way to the high, okay, and this is your area of support. So. I would just you know make sure that if I'm trading then you know I'm, I'm trading between the red this area uh, the red area and this particular what I have marked here all right this this is where you want to trade but you know what I, I'm not even gonna waste my time and say but this is what I have given to you guys if you want to trade you can trade but um, I'm not gonna waste my time all right um, my focus is to basically invest in stocks, uh, hold on for uh, one month, two months, three months, five months, even a year. But I want uh, a good return on my investment. I will sell it at 20%, 25%, uh, or even 18%, 15%, as long as it's above the fixed deposit rates that you get in the bank. All right, because that's that's the key, right? Uh, you want to you want to gain a little bit higher return on investment uh, than the bank. So <clears throat> here, here, here's the clean, clean uh, thing. Just wait for it. If Nifty breaks 9,100 and it starts trading above that, that's when I feel the market may go to even 10,000 points on the Nifty. And don't be surprised, it will go there probably quick. For those, uh, if you follow the international markets, Dow Jones yesterday popped up 300 points. Uh, there was a gap up and you know it was just something awesome to see uh, but unfortunately nifty did not pop up nifty is stuck uh, in this red zone you see we are in this red zone and we're not doing anything we're just moving sideways that's why I just wait for the 9100 to break if it doesn't break all right if it doesn't break then I just marked out that area that yellow area where the market may come down all right so just just give it some time don't be in a hurry my biggest concern here is that we are uh, in March, all right, and um, we are not far away from May because May is usually a month of selling. You know, there's a there's a saying in the stock market that sell in May and go away. So I'm just gonna wait and watch what happens. Now I want to actually show you something on the weekly chart. Uh, there, this, I have drawn this trend line. I don't know why but i just feel that you know the market is quite quite strong to this trend line because it started here all right this is on the weekly chart and then you know it it came like several times here then here and then here and you know 
is just like going up so yes I'm not saying that follow this trend line but I'm just saying the market is in a trend all right it, it, it is in an uptrend so if this trend line breaks then probably I will let you know that yeah we might there might be you know a change in the trend or something but just hold on all right now I'm going to quickly just discuss the stocks that I'm holding all right I haven't bought anything new I'm just basically just waiting to see what this market is about to do so the first stock MIC electronics all right I don't know what just happened to this okay on the BSC so MIC electronics I've been holding the stock uh, since this like 16 level 17 level I've been buying at 15 I even bought at 13s uh, and it's just like in this zone and I'm ridiculously getting impatient I, I needed to break I need really really needed to break this okay I have been buying this whole time and it's it's like um, starting from here all right I've been buying and now we are like almost into you know this this year now so from 16 we are into 17 so I'm just holding on to it I'm, I'm just waiting for this this thing to break and if you notice um, we are very close to the 200 DMA all right it starts from the this white line it goes yo 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 and now if you see we are really at the tip of it and if we break and I I want to see the 200 DMA like way way down and the stock just going up this stock has a potential of coming to like 23 has a potential of coming to 28 and you know I'm, I'm I can still roll the ch charts back and I can tell you where all it can go all right I can even see like 44 but right now let's not get greedy just focus I am holding on to the stock it's a good company uh, I'm just waiting for the movement to happen all right now uh, Himalayan International I really regret all right not having bought enough I should have bought this stock is just like gone crazy since that 19 level I thought it's gonna come back you know you see this it went up it came down went up came down this was a bl double bottom and then pff, now the stock is moving sideways but you know I'm buying like in small quantities I wish I had bought more at a lower price I always like buying cheap stocks I mean not cheap stock but I like buying stocks at a cheap price um, let's go to Dion Dion another favorite of mine I just don't know like why it's not breaking out you know it's just in this zone of the 80 and 64 80 and 64 that's where the stock is just moving and I'm waiting for it to break the zone so that I can you know like get out at 100 and, 100 and then 140 or whatever it is but you know I don't I don't want to keep holding on for a very very long time okay Hindustan tin works this one is my favorite but again I don't know just last week I thought that when the pop went up all right and this was explained in my last video it went up and then you know I told you it needs to cross that that 85 or 90 level it needs to cross that all right wait now it is okay it now it is this 84 level it needs to cross this 84 level the moment it crossed 84 or even say 88 all right the stock is going to 100 for sure all right so if you want to buy buy it right now at 70 so that from 70 it goes to 100 uh, you made a good amount of money uh, even if it falls down all right guys even if it comes to like 51 or 43 trust me I will buy it all right this this is what I'm doing if and it's totally up to you if you don't want to buy it do not buy it I am not forcing it down your throat all right it, you have to do your analysis also all right this is I'm just sharing and disclosing that yeah I hold this stock I have shares in it and it it is my uh, analysis and I like it so I'm holding on to it well that's it for now uh, I'm just gonna do uh, something really quick I propose to you guys that why don't you go ahead and write down in the YouTube uh, comment section write down the stock name all right just one one person gets you know just put one stock all right it could be for example uh, Ambuja cement all right just put Ambuja cement and um, you know tell me whether you feel 
uh, it's a good buy or sell okay don't tell me hold uh, just tell me buy or sell and if you are buying then what is your target and if you f if you're saying that no it's it's sell then where do you think the stock is going down intraday people please uh, do not put uh, you know like TCS and then say five five uh, points uh, intraday no I'm sorry I'm I'm not here to discuss uh, intraday trades the reason I'm doing this uh, is because um, I myself want to see what you guys are buying what is your interest and then you know I will give my analysis on that stock that you post in the comment all right uh, don't expect me to post the comment tomorrow but just give me like about five to ten days so even I can do the research and I can come back and give you my feedback and if I like your stock you know if your idea if I like your idea then I might you know invest a little bit in it and see uh, how it goes all right guys take care and have a fabulous day enjoy your training and make lots of money cheers